friends welcome to java interview questions chapter number 6 today we are going to discuss about how many ways we can create object in java. this is very important questions and very common in 2 to 3 year experience before going to the session i'll just answer the puzzle which i've asked in previous session so the puzzle was by using your numerical and logical reasoning skill please try to figure out which number is missing in the question below the number around will give you the clues you need to solve the puzzle so i have given the hint it was a 9 b 4 c 5 d 6 so those who have solved very good but those who didn't able to solve this is the answer for this and how the 6 is the answer i'll tell you so if you see in the first row we have in the middle 3 which is mainly 4 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 4 plus 2 equal to 6 divided by 3 if you see in the second row that is 5 plus 3 that is 8 1 1 that is 10 total and 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 so if you continue with this if you come here if you add 9 plus 3 that is 12 divided by 2 will be 6 so 6 is our answer okay we'll move to the session now So how many ways can we create an object in Java? So simply the answer is mainly there are four ways to create an object in Java. Remember mainly four ways. There are few more but that is a part of these main four ways. Okay we'll discuss that. First is using new keyword. I hope every one of you knows this. We can create an object using new operator. But we'll see every point and with the eclipse we'll run it so let's move to the eclipse first here simply i have created one main class which is containing main method and i have a method class so first for first point using new keyword we are going to create so i'll simply create a method using new I'll just print here that this is using the new keyword we have created the object. So new keyword. Okay, we'll save this and we'll go to our main class and we'll simply create a object of our method class. this is done so we'll call our method and now if i run this it'll simply we have used new keyword so this is done we'll move to the second option now so second is using class dot for name so this is the second option we'll see this option in the eclipse public void using class for name we used class for name okay let's create this i'll create a method class again obj1 obj1 so i'll use class dot for name and here i have to give path of my class this is basically com this one and dot method class okay and i have to create a new instance it is giving me error because it throws exception so before that i have to cast it that is also done and now it will give me error of surround with try catch block so i will do that now i'll call my method obj object1 dot using class for name and i'll run it So this is the second way 
I can create an object. Now we'll move to the third one using clone. This clone I already explained in my previous session, but those who didn't watch that for that, I'll just explain it in the Eclipse. I'll open Eclipse again. So this is using new. This is done using class for name. And now I'm going to do using clone. So I'll simply create one methods class object. So I have to create one object to new method class and then method class obj clone equal to obj2 dot clone. So you can see I'm not getting this clone method here. What is the reason behind this? If I type here clone, I'll not able to use it. What is the reason behind this? If you see in my previous session where I explained cloning, I was able to. I created one cloning color and I simply use that color dot clone. If you are thinking about this one, I'll do that casting here. That is not an issue. But still it is giving me error. The method clone for the type object is not visible. What is the reason behind this? Hope few of you are knowing this one, but, but for those who don't know this, this is the reason because I am in the main class and I am creating method class object and clone is protected. So that's why I'm not able to use this. So what I'm going to do is here, I'll create this main class only. Otherwise I have to override the clone method. Hope it is clear now. I have to override the clone method. So I'll not do now. I'll just tell you this one. I using main class I'll create. Now it will give me a try catch block. Yeah, definitely I have to surround it with the try catch. And now as I extended already a method class, I can call a method from this one. Before that I'll create one method here, public void using clone and simply I'll put the print statement we used clone method so one more thing we have to do we have to implement clonable that's I already explained my previous session so all is done now we will call the object clone dot using clone and we'll run this and see the output here. So here we are. Using new is done, class for name is done, clone method is done. So now we'll move to the fourth point. Using object deserialization. So basically when, what is the concept of serialization and deserialization? Hope you, you are preparing for the interview, you know the serialization and deserialization thing. Uh, if you don't know, I'll explain in my upcoming session. But for now using deserialization also, you can create your object. So this is the way to create a object basically there are four ways you have to remember first is using new keyword using class dot for name using clone and using deserialization deserialization i'm not going to type it in the eclipse later in my video i'll explain how serialization and deserialization work at the time you'll come to know how it create a object so for that time we'll move to the puzzle so puzzle for this session is we have two bucket, one of capacity 3 liter, another of 5 liter. We have 5 liter of water. So how we'll make combinations such that one bucket will have exactly 4 liter of water. This is very common. Hope you, maximum of you will be knowing this one. But those who don't know, just solve it. I'll explain the answer in my next upcoming video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.